Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by, and of course you got here just in time. That's right, just in time. Just in time for another virtual tour. And this will be the inaugural virtual tour on Sable, the high-speed mobility scooter, taking the place of Lil Red. Today we find ourselves at McKinney Falls State Park. It's on the El Camino Real de los Tejas National Historic Trail, which is the King's Road. It cut across Texas. It was uh, the Spaniards. They're yeah, rolling in. So let's get on Sable and go see some stuff. Get the camera set. Adjusted. All right. Off we go. Now, in case you don't know, McKinney Falls State Park is pretty much in the heart of Austin. We're not too far from the Austin airport, so you get to hear a lot of airplanes taking off and landing. See if we can get around. They may come hunt me down, but that'll be all right. They have a nice little store there at the park office. You can buy ice, fishing bait, snack food, and of course your typical Texas State Park paraphernalia. Hats, pins, badges, we are so fortunate that we are here when the blue bonnets are in bloom. Now this is prime, this is a day use area. Not much down here to see from the road. You can see the playground. See the blue bonnets? McKinney Falls State Park is what remains of Thomas McKinney's ranch. He had a, he had a big parcel of land. He raised horses. He liked thoroughbred horses. There's uh, the homestead. There's several hiking trails, and we're coming up to the trailhead for one of those, the Homestead Trail. What they don't tell you on the map is you've got to wade Onion Creek. And if Onion Creek is flooded, you will not get across. If it's even high, you won't get across. So here we are at the, the end of the pavement. You can go down that trail and it'll take you to the lower falls. Heading into the wind. There's a really cool overhang where the indigenous people set up housekeeping. They lived under this overhang. Breaking the law, breaking the law.
quite a few hiking trails here. They have a fairly developed one. It's called the Onion Creek Trail. Mostly asphalt. We'll cut through the dump station. If you're looking for full connections, this is the loop you're going to want to be on. It's at the very back of this room. Oh, I'm sorry, not full connection, 50 amp. There are no full connections here. That's site number five right there, that's where we spent the evening. All of the sites here are kind of a, a mixed bag, but my personal favorite site, actually sites, plural, are right here. These two, that's uh, 9 and 10, and then best of all, is this one right here, number 13. That's, these two are weird sites because you don't really know whose table is who. Restrooms are all in need of updating. several others I have a lot of videos about McKinney Falls State Park I really like this one too number 33 well shady Got a bit of a hill to climb, but that means we get to go fast coming down. But as I was saying, I have several, a number of videos of scooter tours, trail rides. This was actually the first, uh, the first place where I used Little Red. To make a video doesn't look steep but it really it's a pretty good grade now that's also part of the onion creek trail ahead of us we'll go we'll go this way Sites are bi-directional, both loops, I mean, it's bi-directional. You see the yellow stripes, you can go either way you want to go. Whichever direction suits your fancy. Now these sites are gonna be hard to, a lot of these sites over here are gonna be hard to get level. 
in a motorhome. Well, there's a heck of a rig right there. that turn. I just realized my, my battery not my battery's about empty. Which is not good because we gotta climb back up the hill. I really like this little loop down in here. Also, I really like this little loop down here, but this is one of the hardest loops to get a sight in. Because the sights are all very spacious and, and very well shaped. The Onion Creek is right behind it trees there. They do have firewood vending machines at every restroom. firewood is just stuck in the machine there's no there are whoop, there are no bags so usually they've got them in feed bag kind of set up but no not here you gotta you gotta just carry that firewood with you bring a bucket bring a wagon all right we get to go fast now Personally, haven't seen a whole lot of wildlife since we've been here, but of course, the three days we've been here, it's been gray and gloomy, misty. Stop sign, what stop sign? All right, sunshine, finally. Back in here is the youth group camp area. Primitive camping for like the Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts. And if you don't have an RV, but you still want to visit McKinney Falls State Park and experience the blue bonnet, they have cabins.
have the group pavilion and the amphitheaters back in there. This is all day use parking for the day use area that runs along Onion Creek. Look at all those blue bodies. I've been waiting to do this video for three days. We're on our way out. That's why Trudy's parked over here. What I wanted y'all to see, this beautiful field of blue bonnets. Look at that. How cool is that? Big dip. We have the nature center, which is where we're going to move out. The Smith Visitor Center. We're going to close out with a fantastic So don't drop off yet. You gotta see this view. From the visitor center. They need to trim the trees. <laughs> Man, these are always so much fun. Even when I have a battery issue. Got a little work to do on Sable. Hey, if you enjoyed our run through McKinney Falls State Park, I sure would appreciate you giving me a thumbs up and blasting me out across your social media. It helps, helps a lot. If you've not already, I'd also be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. That's why I get to do what I do. I appreciate that. And for my patrons, I'm most grateful. You rock! All right, y'all come back now, you hear?